Welcome back to The Breakfast. We are now being joined by Benson Enikwome, the head of uh, media, Jegede campaign organization, and Otito Atikashe, uh, the Ondo State APC chieftain. Thank you both for joining us. Uh, thank you. Good morning. I'm going to start with uh, Mr. Atikashe. Uh, do you consider the victory as well deserved? Hello, sir. Can you hear us? All right, I guess uh, Mr. Enikumehi could take on the question. Um, I will put it in another way. Um, will your candidates um, accept defeat? Or do we expect to see um, some sort of uh, litigation going forward? Well, first and foremost, we want to appreciate the good people of this state who voted for our party. We also want to appreciate our party members who came out and gave support for the flag bearer of the party. INEC has announced the results as it was released to her from the feed we will, as a party, study the various results from all the local government. When we have gone through the same, we will come out with a position on the matter. As of now, it's hasty to say there is a defeat or no defeat. We do know in an election, somebody must win. And if the person wins legitimately, it is appropriate to congratulate the person. But we don't jump up to do that until we have studied all the necessary things and we have made consultations among ourselves and we will know what way to chart forward. So for now, the result of INEC has been made just only yesterday. We need to look through it and then we will come out with a position. That is the stand of the party as of now. What is your assessment of the process if in comparison to what happened in Edo State, really? I mean, I feel everyone will still point out, um, and of course, the same with the election observers, will still point out places of um, issues of vote buying here and there. You know, the, it, 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 we, we haven't gotten to a stage where elections can be um, completely um, issue free. You know, there's always going to be one problem here or there. You know, and like Mr. Benson has also mentioned, you know, they would also do their own investigations and see what they come out with. Yeah. Um, they, um, what, well, we, before the elections, you know, a lot of people were already comparing their those state elections and saying, um, you know, hopefully, you know, it will turn out the same way and we'll be able to pull out, you pull out, the, or I think we'll pull out the same um, smoothness, you know, with the electoral process. I, I do have um, a lot of questions for the head of media, Jigede, um uh, campaign. He's, uh, I mean, saying his, his exact words were, it's not a defeat. When I make the umpire who is in charge of the election has done a declaration, uh, we'll wait for the um, lines to get back. But my thinking, uh, when we, uh, I mean, we're talking about the two elections, a lot of concerns were more for the Edo state situation because of the, you know, the very condensed nation, uh, nature of uh, tension uh, that we saw in the political space. And then surprisingly, it seems on those situations sort of you know, outwitted what we saw in a those states. There were violence unexpectedly, you know, and um, uh, it's, just, it's just a miracle in my thinking that we didn't lose um, lives love. during the process because um, the tension was, for me, unexpected. And the conversations here on Plus TV Africa's Plus Politics um, in the course of, I um, mean, the campaign period uh, did highlight to me that uh, there is so much more uh, going on uh, that we can uh, we can see. There's also a lot more that needs to be done. Um, we're still trying to fine tune our electoral process. 
and that means that we're still trying and hoping that we can um, get the electoral bodies, security agencies, and the candidates uh, to ensure that we have a smoother electoral process going forward. You know, so so these are all just you know the experiences that we will continue to have until we get there. For now, you know, it, it, it might just continue this way. It is a call, you know, that I believe Nigeria needs to make to security agencies. There, there's been candidates. some real improvement. I'm being told um, we have our guests back. We're hoping that the network will be better now. Uh, Mr. Atika Shea, um, can you hear us? Okay. Mr. Atika Shea, can you hear us? Good morning. Uh, good morning. Um, it's a pleasure to have you again. Um, I'm hoping that you can actually... I can okay, fantastic. Uh, the good question morning. we put to you earlier is about the victory uh, for your party. Is it expected? Is it a well-deserved victory? What is the sentiment right now from that uh, results, uh, the result announced by INEC? Yeah, let me start by congratulating Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Just go ahead, sir. Yeah, let me start by congratulating the good people of the state to have come out a man to perform their civic responsibility. I also want to congratulate and his deputy, Lord Kahir Atua, for a victory well deserved. I also want to thank INEC for organizing a very good election. Fair, free, and credible. The security agent also played their own role. So it was a holistic affair in which the election went smoothly. So it was or it is a victory where it's at. Uh, like uh, Honorable uh, Valentine Lutheran said, that they are studying the, the results. They are starting to study that because it was a free and fair election. They should go ahead to congratulate the government elect. You see, in my full union, no party spent one naira. The PDP didn't spend money, APC didn't spend money, uh, the WFP didn't spend money in my own polling unit, unit 01 of Montreal, my own war three, the general government. We are good at So there was no any engagement. The vote, you see there, those are the real votes of the people. And if they want to go on litigation, you can go ahead, but I, I can assure you that the frontier will come out of it. You see, on oh, those days, people are peculiar people. Our, our situation in those days is different from other states. We, have, we had said it earlier. You, you, you will recall that all our um, conditions came to pass because we said at the nation that Jagede as a candidate of GDP was swimming against the tide in terms of zoning arrangement. And because many people from the central are spent eight years, it was equivalent of the people of the state to also give the notes where the governor would have come to from at the, their own terms of eight years. Now that the notes want to finish eight years, it will automatically come to the south. So in the next situation, it will be a battle in the South, anybody contesting outside, outside the South is just wasting his time. That is exactly what happened to the head. So it, okay. it was a fantastic victory. All right, let, let's come back to uh, you, um, Mr. Eniku Mehi. Um, you, you were saying earlier about the election that you still need to do some um, investigation um, to what exactly will you be investigating? Because a lot of persons have accused most parties involved in the process um, of vote buying. That is one thing that is across board. Uh, we also know that there were skirmishes, uh, skirmishes rather here and there. 
Are these the issues you want to investigate, or there is more? Well, what we need to investigate are strictly that of ours. We do not intend to reveal the things that we intend to investigate. I heard Mr. Otito Atekaji saying that uh, we should jump up and congratulate uh, Mr. Aluaro Temi Akri, the USA, and we won't do that now. But wouldn't that, isn't that the have, right just, just thing? A moment, just a moment, until we have gone through the documents, the papers submitted to us, uh, we, we have ample time to, to look at that. If we consider it appropriate, after studying the document, to congratulate him, we will not hesitate to do so. We cannot be compelled to do that. Um, if, let me, use, look, let me the use the language we that we use papers. in the local we parlance. Look at the results. Excuse me, we sir. We I look need to at interject. the information reaching us from our I need to interject and ask in you this question, sir. Government. Mr. The totality uh, of it is what we take into consideration before we will take action. For now, we will, we will remain um, silent until we have gone through all that. And that will not be too long. We will do that uh, quickly and we'll come up with a position. We are not in a hurry to come up with a position. What would you say to uh, comments now based on, I mean, we, we call this your body language, is that um, you seem not to have a whole lot of um, trust in the um, umpire, INEG, and the process that, uh, the, that we went through to elect the, a governor. Would that be far from the truth? Or that would be spot on? This, this the, these are the issues we will study. We do not intend to come out with uh, a premature position. We will come out with a position that is well informed and uh, whether INEC was fair, whether the police did right, whether there were vote buying, whether there were crises, we will take a holistic decision. We are not going to take a decision piecemeal. There is nothing about body language or eye language. Our party has resolved together with the flag bearer. Let's look at the documents. Let's look at the piece of information we gather from the field. Are they sufficient enough for us to take further steps? If they are, we will. If they are not, then we we'll look at it and then we'll take a decision that is appropriate. For now, our party remains. Um, committed to looking at the documents, examining them, and thereafter we will make our views known. Nobody should read body language or eye language or leg language. Right, what Mr. we have Mr. said we look at the documents and we'll come out with a position. All right, I, I, I want to stick with you before going back to Mr. Tikashi. Um, I, can you quickly share your thoughts on um, the actions of the security agents uh, during the election? Um, does your yep. party and your candidate have any issues with um, the security agents, you know, that were uh, present during the elections? This, these are the issues which we have said we are not going to act uh, on the spur of the moment. The, the piece of information from the various local governments, wards and units will form our opinion on this matter. And that is why we are not going to be hasty in coming to a conclusion. Whether the security agents did well or didn't do well, we will come out with a position on that matter. Yeah, but wh Let why we're asking... Let yeah. everyone be patient. We will come out with a position what, what and exactly? that very soon. Kindly hold on, sir. So what exactly... The, the, what we are trying to establish um, is not, you know, um, your conclusions. We are tr we're trying to get your thoughts so far. It might be that you have issues with the security agent, but you will still investigate. You have issues with INEC agents, but you will still investigate. So, so where are the um, aspects that you feel you must still take a closer look because of certain things that you heard or certain things that you saw? Uh, that's what we're simply I am trying to get. I am, I am talking on behalf of the party, not as Benson and Equal means. And I've just told you, whether on security, on INEC, 
on the voting, on the purchase of votes or intimidation, name it, we will come out with a position on that matter. I am not speaking as the senator, I am speaking as the spokesman of PDP for the campaign organization. All right, Our stand is simple. We will take a position when we have fully um, examined all the issues and we will make that known that very soon. All right. I'm going to go to Mr. Tikashi. Can you still hear us, sir? Mr. Otito Atikashi, can you hear us? Hello? Welcome back. I, I, I want to, you to quickly speak on um, the margin of victory. Um, it, it, it wasn't as maybe as wide as you may, would have expected uh, before the elections. Um, what does that mean to you? Do, do, does that in any way uh, tell that the people of Ondo State maybe didn't fully uh, give your candidate victory? The thing is not clear enough, but let me, let me try to, to uh, play another question. Uh, near things the margin will give you a clear indication of the fact that there was no manipulation in that election. It is a manifestation and representation of people's values. So, whether we like it or not, the people have spoken. In a context of this nature, the rule is that majority of votes, once you have it, you have to declare the winner. So, if it's a, if it's a vote, the winner will emerge. Because the matter cannot apply the at the same time. So, with that margin, we are satisfied. We are okay. All right, stay with but you. I have a concern there. Our democracy will not grow if people are not ready to accept the peace. Because Barry Benny is talking or is speaking as if he never participated in the election. He lost his unit, and I predicted it that he will lose his unit because. The people understand the situation of them. There is no how you can pick a candidate from the center. We have Nico just spent a year, and you are expecting our people in the south who are waiting patiently to take over from Matilda to go and vote for somebody in the center. So he should be able to tell us. The experience he had in his own unit, was he, was he uh, intimidated? Was there any violence? Didn't INEC do his job? Didn't the security agent do their job? Was there any crisis? It is the experience of every individual and every unit that will determine the overall assessment of the election. All right, Mr. Atikashe, I'm, I, I must apologize for interjecting, but that's the much time will permit us uh, for this round of conversation. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. And also to uh, Benson and Nikome, thank you also for speaking with us. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.